Hello, this is Kev here from LifeSuccessEngineer.com and in this video, we are going to be going through the fourth master spreadsheet, which is my replenishing management. Now, this is one of the most critical aspects of your online arbitrage business because if you're finding new products all the time and not replenishing the products that you are selling out of, you are going to find it very difficult to grow and sustain over the long periods of time, okay? I found in my business one of the, the best and quickest ways to scale your business rapidly is to ensure that you've got a very, very effective replenishing system. Okay, so I've evolved this system over the time. I've really expanded it. I've thought about it. I've, I've worked with my team to make it as good as possible for us. So far, it's worked. It's allowed us to streamline the system. It's allowed us to quickly recognize if we're running out of stock where we need to replenish just like any of my sheets any of the the purchasing or the the sourcing don't matter what sheet it is it's, it's part of my master spreadsheet so it's very very important but in terms of um ramping up a little bit replenishing is one of the most important things that you can you can take care of it's so so important so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get into my computer, I'm gonna share with you the master spreadsheet for my replenishing management, share with you the idea, the thought processes, and then really, if you, want to, if you want to build it in your own life, then that's fantastic. The goal of this series, the goal leading up to Q4, maximizing Q4, we're talking all things Amazon because it's Q4 very, very soon, the goal of this series is to give you maybe an idea maybe a thought process, maybe something that highlights something in your business, something in your mind that you go, ah, if I implement this, or if I do this, or if I start doing this, or better still, you never know, you might see any of my spreadsheets, whether it's my sourcing management, my infantry health, whatever it is, whatever it is, if you might see something and you go, do you know what? I can expand on that, I can improve on that, and then if it adds, 10,000 onto your sales, if it doubles your sales, if it triples your sales, who knows where, the sky's the limit, it's Q4 coming up. So I'm gonna get into my computer, I'm gonna share with you my replenishing management sheet. If you've got any ideas, any thoughts, any improvements, whatever it is, comment below, let me know. And if you want a copy of the template, you just let me know, go to onlinearbitragemastery.com forward slash templates, I'll make them all available for you. But start building these spreadsheets. Don't, don't be afraid of spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are, um, they can be time consuming, of course, but don't be, don't be too concerned about the formulas and things. There's so many materials out there that you can learn from to build these spreadsheets yourself. But of course, I realize that some people don't wanna do that. They just want templates, let's get going. It is Q4, let's start taking massive action. It's a huge time saver that I've done here. But again, if it sparks an idea, let me know in the comments below. Please hit a thumbs up button just at this moment. I really, really appreciate all the, um, the support with the thumbs up and um, let's get into it. Let's talk replenishing. All right, so we're gonna be doing a demo of the replenishing management spreadsheet. I am here at the warehouse, so I do apologize if there's any background noise, but um, this is the replenishing management sheet. It's a, very, it's a very basic sheet, but it's a very powerful sheet. It allows us to do a lot of replenishing management um, and processing, which is effective, okay? So you want to be replenishing every single week. And the way we do this is, first of all, you'll see that this is my replenishing management. You'll see that there's three tabs and there's three steps to this process. You'll see that I've got my infantry in stock report on this tab, which is completely empty at this moment in time. Then you'll see I've got my replenish lookup, okay? Uh, VLOOKUP, so this is basically a sheet that I will um, talk about in a second. Then I've got my replenishing processing, okay? The replenishing processing is ultimately the third step, which is going to allow you to see visually at first if replenishing is required and then start taking action on actually getting it replenished because that's the whole idea. You are looking at, is my sales, have I won? Um, am I running out of stock? Um, is my stock level lower than my unit sales? Okay, so if, I, if I've if i sold 30 of one product and I've only got uh, 10 left, that really wants to be flagged up in my system, okay? The way I'm going to do this, because we're, gonna, we're going into the more 
technical and the more difficult ways to demos to show, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using some data from my right at the start of my Amazon journey. Okay, this is going to be a little bit sentimental for me as well because I'm going to be looking at products right back in 2015 when I first started. Okay. So the first thing, you're going to want to download, you're going to need a copy of your infantry in stock report, okay? So the way you get that, if I'm I'm just going to go onto my seller central screen, okay? So you'll go to the report section, you'll go to Amazon selling coach, and then you see at the top here infantry in stock report. Simply click that, download it, and then you will have access to that. Okay, you'll just get access. Amazon will give you that. They'll give you that information. Okay, and what's going to happen is you're going to take that information and you're going to download it. You're going to open it up because it's it ends up being a, a spreadsheet. You're going to open it up and you're going to paste it into the first tab. Okay, so I'm going to quickly do that now. Then you may experience a jump in the the video, but I'm going to just quickly put in the infantry in stock report so you can see it. Okay, so this is now the infantry in stock report that's been pasted into this tab. So what you'll do is you'll not modify this report at all. Amazon, they give you it in this format, leave it in this format. It's very, very easy. We manipulate the data on what Amazon give you. So you'll see on the left-hand side when you do this, you'll have the product, the ASIN, the SKU, and then it gives you a lot more information, okay? The, the thing that we're really interested in, and this is this is the whole idea of what the replenishing is all about. We want to know, we're interested in the current infantry and we're also interested in the unit sales because that is ultimately what we want to be thinking about. That's what we want to be uh, looking at. If we've, if we've got stock or if we've got very little stock and we've got bigger sales, we need to, we really need to replenish them. Okay, so I've just showed you that just so you can see what this sort of looks like and what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to flip on over to the replenish v lookup and on this screen what this is going to do this is what this is where it gets really really clever is you're going to you're going to need to paste everything you see in this turquoise sort of color you're going to need to ignore all that is automatically populated everything in the white you are going to need to paste something in so this section here on the right hand side, you'll see it says purchase data because the only way we can work out the whole idea of what the replenishing is, we've already purchased it before. So you're going to want to take all your previous data and you're going to want to paste it into here. It could be months upon months. It really depends on what, what your system, what, what you want to do. But if you use your purchase data then your inventory and stock report is going to be all the ASINs that you are going to be interested in is going to be in that purchase data. Okay, so for this purchase data, what I'm going to be using is my 2015 information. Okay, so this is just a bit sentimental for me. You can see here this is actually this is this was actually June of 2015. You can see down the bottom. Um, I started June 2015, then obviously July, August, September, October, November. And um, this is when I first started. This is exactly the sheet that I used. I can see literally the first product that I ever sold, which was uh, an amazing uh, Monsters, Inc., the university, um, my scare pal Scully. It was like a, I, was, I was basically um, uh, buying it for £12.50 at the time. Uh, selling it for £23.21. I bought four of them and um, yeah, my profit was going to be about £4 each, which was a margin of, of 34%. 34, 34%. But at the time, this was incredible. This was profit for me for the first time. It was, it was amazing. Anyway, so that was a, a little bit sentimental. You can see the date was actually the 2nd of June 2015 when I purchased that. So what we're going to need, you need the history. You need your purchase data. So I'm going to take that, okay? I'm going to take that, and um, I'm just going to paste it. I'm not going to do anything with this data apart from simply paste it, okay? Once it's pasted, it's obviously it's now got your purchase data, okay? What it's going to do? It's going to do first of all, it's going to populate this column. <coughs> 
just ignore that one all it's simply doing is it's getting hold of these asins again and what we do then um which is basically what you would do in real time in real life you will take your infantry in stock report you will take the column that has all your asins in it okay you'll have because this is your infantry in stock report you'll take that column and what you're going to do you're going to paste it into here you're going to paste it into here and what that's going to do it's going to v look up all this here is going to v look up whatever you've got in this box here in this this table here basically what that's doing um, and, I, and I'm sure that's been self-explanatory and I, I apologize if I um, maybe sound a little bit like I'm trying to explain too much but basically what that's doing is if you had just one ASIN to find let's say you had to find just one ASIN out of a huge list what a VLOOKUP is really good at doing it finds that reference it finds what you um, what you you're looking for so that ASIN if you paste it into this uh, this box this column what it's going to do it's going to try finding that data it's going to try finding that data wherever the VLOOKUP has been um, set up okay so you'll see now what it's done it's found okay it's found you can see now it's looked for this ASIM it's looked for where that is and now it's it's populated what it was so you can see it's from Smith's you can see all the information in terms of buy for sell for that's what it's done you can do the again you can do the same with any of these ASINs you can paste it in just in the box it's a bit of a more he uh, heavy file if you like because of all the formulas so it's going to take some time to think it's scanning through all the information and um, what it's going to do it's going to literally populate so uh, once it does this there you go it's populated and it finds that data so what that's doing really if you think about it the infantry in stock ASINs if you paste it into this column it's going to populate everything it's going to populate it's going to find all the ASINs that are really important to you okay so I'm going to just take these just as a, a, a bigger example I'm just going to paste them here <coughs> Just for the purpose, now you might be thinking, well, why are I using just this 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 table? It's it's more to do with time saving. <coughs> if you're trying to find the 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 buy for the ASIN, if you're trying to find the shop, the, the shop URL, the Amazon URL, if you're trying to find what you bought it for, it's so easy to do VLOOKUPs because Excel will do everything for you. So Imagine now this is this is what's happened. Okay, you've you've populated all that information. So now what it now what it's going to have done. It now immediately under the replenishing processing, under the replenishing processing, what it's done, it's immediately recognized what the ASIN is, what my current infantry was, okay, what the current infantry is, what the um, unit sales have been this is directly from the infantry in stock report it's give us all that information and immediately it's telling us what replenishing is required and what replenishing is not required okay very 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 useful very useful because then immediately I can now see it's literally taken it literally takes two seconds to do this and I can see straight away this is required that's not required the weak number because we keep this history this could be week one it could be week two it could be week three okay and at that point in here um, straight away in terms of replenishing you can start to process the replenishing very very easy and you can see there's a load of reds here because obviously I'm using data from 2015 so who knows um, things may have changed you know it's who, who knows um, but another thing that we've been working on and this is where it gets very very interesting and this is something from in my life that in my business one of the the best things that I did in my business is I began to recruit people virtual assistants that are far smarter than me and that will openly honestly say that that is one way of getting on in life if you have if you surround yourself in incredibly smart people you can um, 
you can really fast forward and boost your progress. So what I did, I challenged one of my virtual assistants, could I, could we replicate the, um, the calculator, okay? The calculator. And what we've done, the, the FBA calculator, what we've done in my business is we have done that for the use of um, ease, time saving again, okay? So these two columns here, I could turn them white. You know, I, let's turn them white. Let's just quickly do this here. Let's say um, you're trying to replenish these and obviously as a part of your replenish system, you're gonna want to change, you're gonna want to change the buy for and the sell for because that's the whole idea. You now know that this needs replenishing but you don't know whether, um, you don't know whether it's actually capable of being replenished. So this one here, for example, this top one here, although it says uh, replenish not required, let's just use this for an example. What we'll do, we'd open this up, we'll open up this, hopefully this, uh, this link is still available on Amazon, but we'll open it up and we want to, first of all, we want to see what the buy for is and what the sell for is. Okay, but where the, it sort of takes a bit of time uh, in, messing about with the the sell for increasing it decreasing it because once you change the sell for you're gonna have to change the FBA fee preview okay so what takes some time so what we'll do for example let's take this um, because we're gonna prove something here now if we go for if we work out that the sell for is now actually I don't know let's say it's 29.99 instead of 23 you'll see what it's done, the FBA fee preview is actually um, automatically changed. It's actually increased. Now you might, be, you might be asking, well, how have you done this in terms of like, how does it know what the FBA fee is? Because it's come from the FBA fee calculator. And this is where it's quite clever because it, it's, it's just, it's, first of all, what I will mention, it's an indication for you. It's an indication for you, instead of going back and forth and wasting time, and you may come to the same conclusion it's not profitable, it's so much easier if you can simply just type in what the sell for is and it automatically changes the FBA fee preview. Okay, so let me just put in uh, 29.99 and let, let it calculate. Okay, you can see it's coming up with the cost as £6.66. Okay, so it knew that £6.66, you can see that's what it says here. Okay. So if I was just to change this to 26.99 for example, and let's go back to 26.99 and calculate. Now it's saying six pound 21. And if I go back, it now says six pound 21. Now let's test it for, I don't know, 17.99. It just, it gives you, it saves time. Instead of having to go back and forth with this, although that's what I'm doing, it just saves time. In terms of replenishable, if you can save time, then that's fantastic. Then that's ideal, so £4.86. So that's worked, so my team can literally go down rapidly and instead of having to go back and forth, you're saving time. And if you've got hundreds upon hundreds of products, it could save you a lot and, and a lot, an awful lot of time, okay? So um, that is really how the replenishing works. That's how it works. You can work out whether you can replenish it. Is the information still the same? If it's still the same and it's still a winner, then it goes onto my purchase sheet. It goes onto goes into the pre-purchase, like I mentioned in the last uh, the last master spreadsheet. Okay, so just out of curiosity, that is the first product that I ever sold. It's now going for about fifty-five pound. Looking at it. Um, Let's just, out of curiosity, let's go back all the way to, it was around June, June 2015. You can see here that the sales rank, uh, the sales rank was very, very good. You know, it was, it was very, very good. That's when I, that's when I uh, um, sold all four of them immediately. I sold all four of them and that's how my journey started. And, uh, it's incredible when I see references of like one, two, three, four, and in my business now I've seen literally tens of thousands of references because we've made so many purchases over the years. So that has been the replenish management. I hope it's been clear. 
What I will say is if you want a copy of this uh, template, just go to onlinearbitragemaster.com forward slash templates. I can make this copy available for you at a small fee, a fee that comes to my team um, because I've, I've, my team have been working incredibly hard to make these templates available for all you online arbitrage masters. Um, uh, I call it masters because it's a master sheet. I believe in mastery. So this is why we try to always push the bar. We try to uh, really work out what systems we can implement in each stage of our business. Um, so this has been the fourth master spreadsheet. I hope it's proved valuable. Please give it a thumbs up. Give me any questions that you've got. Take care. Keep taking massive action. Q4 is coming. I'm really excited for it. Really excited for kicking off the Q4 mastermind, etc., etc. Super, super excited. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care.